one of the things you've got to consider when you move to higher load glyphosates is viscosity management at lower temperatures. You don't want that viscosity to become you know, such that you can't pump it when the temperatures start dropping. So we have to um, choose the factors very carefully to make sure we don't start getting those sorts of problems. I guess just in terms of generalities with adjuvants, um, adjuvants are obviously anything that has an effect on the plant when it's added with a pesticide in some fashion, so whether it be wetters, stickers, humectants, um, whatever, uh, anything that has an effect, the yeah, anti drift. Um, when it comes to glyphosate, we're trying to actually include as many of these different aspects in the can as we can. That's our aim. Because we want to try and provide uh, a formulator such as CropSmart chemistry that's going to allow the farmer then to do as many things as they can without adding too many things, if you can. So for pesticides specifically, the main ones we're focusing on are wetting, penetration, rain fastness and drip control. Um, so we're trying to control basically the droplets, how they're actually forming out of the nozzle. We're then trying to control how they sit on the leaf, how they stay on the leaf, how long they stay on the leaf and we're then trying to control how the glyphosate then penetrates into the leaf. So there's a fair bit going on um, in a simple spec that you're trying to actually achieve. One good efficacy, obviously that's the key thing, it doesn't kill useless. Um, efficacy often gets uh, explained to us in a couple of different mechanisms, so getting good burn down, but then actually getting good control. There's a bit of a trade-off here. You don't want the burn down to be such that the plant can't actually take up the glyphosate. So there's a, there's a real balance, but ultimately it's about good control. You want the product to stick to the leaf, uh, and you need it to not just hit the leaf and bounce off. So the surfactant choice uh, plays a part in that. Humectancy is quite an important one. So you want the glyphosate to actually sit on the leaf uh, for a period of time and not dry out too fast. If it dries out, it won't penetrate. It won't translocate. Penetration we've spoken about, and another key one uh, that we've done a fair bit of work with CropSmart and others in the market is around compatibility. So that that tank mix partnering. What else can you add in there without starting to run into compatibility issues? And you can do a certain amount with surfactant, but you can't do it all. You want it to be easy to formulate. So from a CropSmart's point of view, they've got to manage that um, surfactant in-house when they actually formulate the glyphosate. There's a whole range of factors. So the pH range that they can um, add the add this surfactant in at, the temperature they can add in the surfactant at when they're cooling down the glyphosate formulation, that's another aspect that we have to think about.